Plantain is a fantastic plant, an amazing medicinal. It's a must have in your herb garden. And if you're growing this one, you are missing the boat. Hey, I'm Doc Jones from the Homegrown Herbalist School of Botanical Medicine, and plantain is one of my favorite plants. It's one of my favorite herbs. Um, and uh, Plantago major is the species I usually use, and it grows about everywhere, you know, in the United States anyway, and in Europe anyway, and in Australia and anywhere else that anyone British has ever been. <laughs> it's usually in the cool parts of the lawn, you know, with a little more moisture, a little more shade, that's what it likes. Um, for the broadleaf plantain, Plantago major, in the western states of the United States, there's a, a narrowleaf plantain species, uh, Plantago lanceolata, and that one grows out in the full sun in the sand and gravel. You know, he doesn't care about being cool. Um, some people don't, you know. Uh, <laughs> anyway, plantain has a very distinctive uh, structure. It's got these very obvious big veins running parallel to each other on the back of the leaves. And it's really great for pulling poisons out of the body. Um, it's really get great for leaky gut. It's good for puncture wounds. It's good for regular wounds. It's good for a lot of things, bladder infections, and, and we could go on and on and on about that. Um, and we'll do that in another video. But uh, what I wanna show you is this. This is also Plantago major. This is plantain. And I mean, look at the difference in size. Um, this is a Turkish variety. And medicinally, it's exactly the same. I've been using this one for years. And this is the one we grow here in the Homegrown Herbalist Gardens. Um, it's a Turkish variant and Look at the size of the leaves by comparison. You know, if you're gonna grow medicine, hey, grow a lot of medicine, right? And uh, it's just an amazing, amazing plant. And we've been very happy with it. It's super uh, vigorous, super productive, makes a lot of seeds. These are the seed heads. And, uh, you know, seems happy in the sun. This bed's full shade all day. It's delightfully happy there too. Doesn't seem to matter as long as it's getting enough water. So anyway, um, sometimes there are varieties and cultivars of plants that are better than what we're usually using. Um, and people often ask me if, uh, you know, I saw some echinacea at the nursery that was a different color, or I, is this species as good as that species? And as a general rule, if something's in the same genus, not always, but as a general rule, um, it's gonna have similar properties. You know, if you went to a website and did a search for, you know, teasel or something, you'll find half a dozen different species that the herb companies are selling because they all work, they all have very similar properties. And it's the same with the plantains, with the plantagos. Um, and so anyway, just something to be aware of, this is the plantain you want. Uh, equally medicinal and phenomenally productive. So I'm Doc Jones from the Homegrown Herbalist School of Botanical Medicine. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you being engaged and interested in learning how you can help other people with herbal medicines. Um, that's really what we're all about. Swing by the website, homegrownherbalist.net. We have an amazing school, the Homegrown Herbalist School of Botanical Medicine. Um, and we'd love to join you on that journey. So click like, click subscribe, do all the other clicky important things you're supposed to do if you're on a YouTube video watching. And uh, <laughs> we appreciate you taking the time to stop by and see this. I'm Doc Jones, have a great day.